Welcome to day 4 of surviving the first 31 days. Last time we fortified the house with a lot of metal sheets. Yeah, we basically made a fortress. So this day we are going to see if we can create a start with the farm. Or if we can head to a gas station nearby and try to uh, set up a base there. But first, the last piece of life and living. At least some XP. I've sorted my inventory, so now let's head out. No zombies in sight. I believe there was some fuel somewhere here. Ah, nice. We got fuel here. Both of them are also full. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the car, empty all the fuel inside the car, and then try to see if we can actually make it over there. I'm gonna get the car, pour the fuel in, get a generator, and then we're gonna go to the gas station to hook up the gas station. two gas cans in the car and then we can make our way to one of the generators and we can open up the menu by pressing the V button and then add gasoline and then you should automatically add the gasoline to the car which should lose us our overweight status anytime soon And we make a trade with the baseball bat, so we have a new weapon in there. And then we just take the generator. Now we're gonna go super overweight because we're carrying the generator. And if we find the zombie right now or a zombie comes here uh, and attacks us, then we're kind of screwed. And we're just gonna drive to the gas station. If you have no idea where a gas station is, uh, there's there is a Project Zomboid map that you can view online by going to map.projectzomboid.com and there you can view the area that you're in. If you know at least, for example, that you started in Moldra, you can uh, view points of interest there and it's a very good tool to help you get started on where certain things are. This is a gas station. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out all the zombies and we're gonna make preparations with the generator for when the power goes out. Gonna just drop the generator here. So now I'm not overweight anymore. And now we're gonna honk. It's an awful sound. 
But all the zombies should come towards you. And instead of killing them all, we're gonna lead them away. Now we just need to put the generator back and refill the car. So as you can see, the gas station is now kind of cleared of zombies. Refill from gas pump. I hear a zombie. Okay, they're there. They're not really behind me. Well, I've refilled most of it, so I'm just gonna whack a couple of zombies. Maybe get some food on the inside. One still there. We have some ice here. Finish some zombies. The reason I backed off is because I don't like the fight inside with zombies holding doors. Uh, and you can better play more carefully than just head into the doors anyway. If you make sound, they come outside. Outside, you can hear more zombies in the surrounding area. Inside. So we still have like four zombies left. Two zombies more, so that shouldn't be too hard. Okay. There are still a lot of zombies. getting very hungry right now so I need some food still three more zombies okay so stand on top of the zombie fail hit it. keep the other zombie down finish the last two zombies and then find some food or some drinks First eat this. So now Kerchter isn't hungry anymore and we can kill this lost zombie a little bit easier. 
I'm gonna chuck some things in the back. I'm gonna put the generator in place already. So we have to kill the zombie and then the generator is in place. One generator install installed almost. And then we can hook it up and then we can take fuel out of this gas station after the power goes down. So we're gonna place it here. And we still need to find how we how we can use generators. The generator is already in place, so that's good. But for now, let's just get back. The generator is in place. Uh, the power is still on, so there's no need for all the fuel. So, let's put some hams in the fridge. And we are going to bed. So that was this episode and see you on the next day.